20-year sibling rivalry, Mario and Luigi team up using synchronized super moves in their most ridiculous adventure ever. Let's go! Okie dokie! Mario and Luigi Bowser's Inside Story. Uh, last time we got some beans. Got some beans, and that was basically all we did. Uh, we did some some of the challenge bosses, but mainly we just got beans. And uh, honestly, <laughs> it was a lot. It was a lot, but I enjoyed it. It was it was a lot. It, we we backtracked through all the areas that Bowser has already gone through. We didn't go to the caverns. Um. We could still do that, but we're gonna have to make another loop around the world anyways in order to get some other stuff once the uh, brothers... Once the brothers have their uh, last ability, something involving these like air pumps or water pumps or something that have, that have been like stationed around the world. Still don't know what that is. I actually don't remember what that is either, so yeah. Um, so we will wait for that. For now, we're going to do the same thing we did yesterday, except this time with Bowser, because now we have our first big alternate move with Bowser. Um, so uh, although we might be hitting some story beats first, given the fact that uh, given the fact that Bowser. Um, just got the ability and there were two massive buttons down below. Actually, you know, one thing we will do first... We're gonna go to Toe Town? What's nice is that we unlocked a lot of pipes as the brothers as well, so it'll be a little bit easier to backtrack as well. Um... We need to... We hit the... We hit... We didn't hit max rank, but we hit the uh, final of the main ranks. Um, as Mario and Luigi, so we can actually go and check this out. Since we did get a bunch of money as well. Please step on the stage there if you would. Okay. Oh. Is this still a shop? Allow me to offer you a profound thanks for gracing our store with your presence this day. I am the head of customer service, Toad, and I am pleased to have... Okay. I am pleased to have the chance to serve you today. Now then. We have prepared our signature 100 star service for our dear customers. May I suggest you take a seat in our plush sofa in the back? Please, please, I insist. Okay. Does the shopping ha here happen at some point? Some royal tea, shroom tea, good sirs. Hmm. Cool. So that's just free, and our signature foot massage. Uh. Maybe also offer a compliment to your whisk whisker shaving? No. No, no, no. How foolish of me. Is everything satisfactory? If so, gaze upward. Let your shopping mind drift through the galaxy until you find that which you seek. Now then, for your order. It's freaking ridiculous, what the heck? Okay, so there is a sh- <laughs> Oh! <laughs> okay. Status effect cleanser clears status effects. Oh, so we just become immune? Holy crud. Oh. 
10 extra, 30 extra and HP and SP, but the AOK -okay is obviously the one used I was supposed to have. Um, Auto Reviver revives you after one turn if you're KO. Oh wow, does it keep doing that? 20% POW, gloves and boots. Reduces SP cost, oh my gosh, for all special attacks by 50%. Cuts everything in half. That means our strongest move right now would go from 10 to 5 SP. Okay, well we simply can't be... We simply cannot be spending money on that right now like this. <laughs> we simply can't do it. Um, That's crazy though. These are pretty weak and not really what we're going to be aiming for, to be honest. Okay, so we need to just leave. We need to get out. It's ridiculous. Huzzah, we thank you. Return to us soon, Heroes of Coppers. I can't believe you have to get to, uh, like, a specific rank to get even get in. And then everything costs, everything costs 10,000 or more. That's ridiculous. We actually would have had enough of one of those pairs of pants. Those pants are crazy. Surely those are like the best pants in the game, right? Like once we get those pants, it's freaking done. Well, maybe wandering around as Bowser will net us, uh... Will net us the ability to... Oh, you know what? We'll we'll check with Shop Man, Shop Man McGee. We need to check a couple things. Uh, are there other ones to get that we? Uh, nope. Nothing yet. What's this? Uh, we have KO 10% power booster. Raises power when you knock out a foe. Cool. Oh, and it stacks. Interesting. Um, 15 HP per turn, 4 SP per turn. Wow. That's pretty good. Um. We can't, uh, we can't ignore what Bowser's got going on. Hey, nice. I was about to pick a different one, but I don't know, I had a feeling. That's something. Alright. <laughs> uh, oh, wait a minute. Wait, wasn't there... There was a place to use buttons up here. Did I... I didn't... I didn't do it, right? Yeah, okay, hold on. Almost completely bailed. Also, last time we found out that, uh... Drumstick ring. We found out that Bowser can also use the beans. Uh... Found out a little uh, too little too late, but also it, I don't need to use beans on Bowser. Bowser's Bowser's fine. Not a lot of, how many star candies do we have at this point? Ten. I mean, you know, considering they are elixirs, essentially, that's that's pretty good. We have quite a few. What was he even trying to do? Oh, he was trying to go to Dimble Woods. Oh, hey, bud. Is that- hey. 
Hey, minion, hold up. Minion? Yeah, what the heck, man? Oh, now I guess it's, I guess it's across to that side. Uh, okay, we'll keep following this thread for now. Hey! Aren't you private goop? K King Bowser, you okay? Of course. Or the others. What happened to Sergeant Guy and Corporal Paraplonk? Aren't they your unit? Yeah. When you got all giant back in Dimble Wood, we, we kind of panicked and ran to avoid being crushed. So while we were uh, retreating, we must have gotten separated in the forest somehow. Now it's just me. Oh, really? So, wh what brings you to this area? Oh, uh, well... So I'm on my way to collect all the Star Cures. Oh, hey, wait. The Star Cures, do they look anything... Like this? <laughs> how, how does this work? What is this strange power you have? I don't know, I've never seen one. Pro probably, though? Why do you know about it? Sir, I can report that there was a Star Cure in Bowser Castle. I heard some guy named Cuzzle on Plaque Beach gave it to you for doing a puzzle. Wait, I heard some guy named Cuzzle on Plaque Beach gave it to you for doing a puzzle? Oh, hee <laughs> hee, oops. <laughs> well, I thought that was probably garbage and that you'd stolen it since you're awesome. But, but either way, it's definitely in the underground treasure chamber of Bowser Castle. Really? Hmm. Now that you mention it, yeah. Maybe that did happen. <gasps> Little bird! Message for Mr. Mario, Mr. Luigi, and Mr. Violent Face Puncher. Now connecting to Dr. Toadly in Toad Town. Please give it your attention. Ah, check one. Hello? Aha. Are we connected? Ahem. <clears throat> I have just discovered the identity of the second sage. Oh, have I just discovered the se identity of the second sage? I certainly have. The second sage is a sea koopa named Kuzzel who lives on Black Beach. <laughs> Dude, a little late. Brilliant! Sounds like this guy Starcure is already in my castle. And did I see that Mario and Luigi got the first Starcure already? Indeed I did. Congratulations! What? <laughs> You gotta be kidding me, they got to it first. That's it, I've gotta get that second Star Cure. I'm making it for Bowser Castle, the cure's in the underground treasure chamber, right? Yes, sir. Great, I'm gone, to Bowser Castle. What's your plan? I, uh, once I find Sergeant Guy and Corporal Paraplunk, we'll head straight for your castle. Fine, whatever. Second Star Cure is at Bowser Castle, huh? I guess we should leave this one to Bowser for now. We could go there. But we won't. Yeah, we can't move forward with this ability still. These guys, these guys with the, the teeth and the- they're so faster than me. They're still so fast. <laughs> Give me all your teeth. <laughs> it's terrible. They always do the bean after I take their teeth from them. It's kind of depressing. Uh, Koop Corpse, yeah. <clears throat> Gotta remember what Bowser does, it's been a while. Dang. 
Dang, Koopa Corps are nasty. Oh, I didn't realize I was that close to a level up. Oh, nice. I was that close to final rank, too. Heck yeah, Bowser. Uh, we can work on your speed a little bit, I think. Because you're still getting outpaced by, like, second level enemies. Um. Oh, no. Uh, gear. So what are you using? You're using makes it easier to get furious. I haven't even, that hasn't even happened once. I think you have to get hit a bunch for that to happen. So we'll just wait. I like that one. The idea of that one's pretty cool. I mean, I could like raise the power of the punching and then also have it restore HP when I punch. Raises at maximum SP, more fire, HP per turn, SP per turn, defense. 39 defense, pretty crazy. Well, if we, if we did that one with the 20% defense booster too, what could we get our defense to? 20% defense booster, and then it goes up another 46, that, that is pretty nuts. Um, Uh, random 30% SP shrinker to attack. Oh, yeah. Oh, that one's good. That one is good. <clears throat> Maybe we go into a special build? Oh, no, it's either... You know what? I would rather be getting SP back every turn than having a random one cost less, I think. Because that, that's overall just, like, way more SP coming to us, I think. Increases rate of lucky hits. That's pretty cool. Uh, may use a drumstick before an action? Oh. Holy crud, wait, this one's crazy. Wait, this one's actually incredible. Random drumstick consumer. So, like, randomly, before I do something, I might just eat a drumstick? Hmm, okay, so it's not like I may use a drumstick. It, it's you might use one, like, by doing an action. Okay. That's pretty cool, actually, to be completely honest. Well, the rings are definitely the best. Like, the coolest stuff is in the rings. Too bad we can't wear, wear more than one of those. It would make more sense to be able to wear multiple rings than it would for Mario and Luigi to wear, like, a whole bunch of different kinds of socks and stuff. So this is double luck booster. Yeah, we just yeah. I mean that, that, that kind of contributes to more SP per turn, I think. Oh, whoops. Boing. Oh, I get it. Uh oh. To it? Weird. It's weird that it wasn't working. I must have been like a little bit too close to the ledge or something. That's fun. Cool. Um, yeah, I still don't know how, where to come from to get to that area. 
go check it out. And why not? We have teleportation points. Seventy nine on it like, on the beginning of a thing. Oh, you know what we should do? Hold on, if we're, if we're at a teleportation point right now, we might as well go and, uh... Turn in the blitties, and then also maybe go exploring around, right? We'll turn in the blitties first. Uh, it was Dimblewood, the entrance to Dimblewood, I think? I always kind of forget. Yeah, yeah, but you, yeah, we go down first, actually. I guess we might as well explore around here. Hey, man. This door is lively now, home. Huh? And there is a petite present. Oh, block fangs. Fangs, but they block stuff. Uh, I think I'm good. I don't think you have... Oh, well, you have new healing stuff. Gosh, I loved last episode. <laughs> Talking to uh, Brock Monjour as uh, Mario and Luigi, and he freaking hates Mario and Luigi. <laughs> it was very funny to me. The Bowser also destroys stuff. I, yeah, so, well, I mean, whatever. Same things. Uh, I'm assuming the block fangs are just a defense boost, but the fangs? Yeah, 20% defense boost, though. So you, you could double up on... get up to 40% of defense boost, which is pretty crazy. All things considered. Um... If there's anything for Bowser to do in these places, they don't they're not gonna mark like things to slam on. I'm trying to consider Where were the things that where were the things to slam on? I can't rightfully say. I remember there being, um... I know we found a couple of spots to use the slam on. Crud. That was terrible. The guy shouldn't have done it. <laughs> he, sh he just should not have done it. Now, we are going to run into the same sort of thing that we run into usually with these games, where it's like, I kind of wish... If we're fighting like low en level enemies like this, like why even put us into a fight? Overall, it's it's pretty snappy, you know. But uh, that that would be like one quality of life thing that would be nice when we're backtracking through these areas. But n none of, none of the Mario and Luigi games really do that. To be fair. Sort of like I, I'll, I'll only know if I go and explore. Um, I think what we'll do is we'll start back at the beginning though. Yeah, we'll start back at the beginning and we'll just walk our way through the whole thing before eventually going to Bowser's castle. 
which we'll have to figure out how to actually navigate there again. I guess we'll, we'll, we'll start out where we were before we left. Uh, beans. Oh, I, I forgot I hadn't, uh, <laughs> I hadn't actually explored this one as Mario and Luigi, so I shouldn't be surprised if I find beans. I think what we'll probably do is we'll be cutting around though, because you, we've we've gone through all these areas as Bowser before, so nothing new to see here for exploration. Um, and I'll see you if I find something. Okay, what is this? What's this all about? Tunnel under construction. Oh. Close behind me? What's this? Um... Right. This is where we did the drill. Right. This is just to get to the underground bit? Was there anything else in the underground bit? Any, any slamming to be done in the underground? Okay, well I guess it might be. I'll see you in a bit. Okay, so there wasn't anything... I'm actually recording the second half of this, like, days after. Uh, there just wasn't really anything that I was seeing to go get. Oh, we even have Bowser's Castle marked as the next place to go. Yeah, I think the, ne the next thing to do really is to just... Um, come back through here, end up here, and then we can go straight to Bowser's castle from here. Um, I think Bowser... There are places to backtrack for sure. Um, the only but the only thing that we found for the slam move um, in the areas we've been to, though, were kind of just ways to make shortcuts, which is cool. Being able to make our own shortcuts is awesome. Um, especially as we progress through a game where the game, you know, obviously the areas just get bigger and bigger. Although I, th I think we've been to every area just about, um, at least once. Uh, but yeah, we're just gonna make our way back to Bowser's castle. I think anywhere else we have to go with new abilities from Bowser, uh, at, at least like on Bowser's end of things, uh, I think they're all gonna be bound to... Uh, probably they're gonna end up being places we need to go because I, I remember the, we, there were multiple spots to um, ground pound here uh, in the in Bowser's castle, but I we need to be here. So I think the one place that like cracked ground that we saw, I think we're gonna like that's where we need to go. Um, there was like a, a, a shell slam panel somewhere too. I can't for the life of me remember where it was though. Um, and I, didn't, I didn't see it in my travels and the map doesn't really indicate it either. Um, so we will have to wait and see if we stumble upon it as we go through some areas again. Uh, uh, yeah, I think we just need to go straight up through here, right? At least this is a thing we can do. But going up there just takes us down... here? Really? <laughs> That's what that was? Is this, a sh is this just a shortcut? It is, right, oh, right, right, right. I remember we were here as the brothers. See, Mario and Luigi, they had tons of things to go and explore, obviously, so. Okay, well that got us in here. Um, oh, right, there's no punching. No punching in the castle grounds, I suppose. I remember that yellow panel being somewhere in the woods. It might be somewhere in the lake. It was green. The area it was at was green. I remember that much. I 
I uh, got to play a little bit of the beta for Monster Hunter Wilds before, um, before it shut down, and I was very happy with my time. I did, I, one thing was feeling a little weird, I was using hammer and longsword, and then I, I was seeing, seeing people use greatsword, and one thing uh, was sort of sticking out to me, I couldn't quite put my finger on it, there's a lot less hit, uh, hit stop on weapons overall now, uh, compared to the other games, and it's kind of neither here nor there, it does make the weapons feel a little flowy, I guess? A little flowy? It makes them feel, especially, I, 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 I didn't even use Greatsword, and I could tell by just watching somebody use Greatsword that, like, it's not, it doesn't feel like it's hitting as hard. It feels like it's sort of just, like, like slicing off of people. Which, to be fair, I mean, I think Wilds is going back to a more heavier, weighty kind of monster hunter compared to Rise, right? Whoa, whoa, whoa. what's the deal here? Passage of the underground is blocked. Stupid fawful. Well, we know how to deal with that. Unless we don't know how to deal with that. Do we not just break through it? Actually, somewhere else to go. Oh. Oh, sick. Oh no, there's like a there's like a bunch of map here. The heck? Caves under construction. On an unrelated note, a fawful statue is now on the balcony. To view it, head onto the throne bal room balcony. Oh, okay. I understand. Um, oh. Wait, we got Bomb Bomb stuck in a... Stuck in a guy! Stuck in a dude! <gasps> Our children! Oh, okay. My babies. Can I suck you out? <laughs> oh, well, I can get a bloody, I guess. Getting bloody up in this. His house. Oh my gosh, oh wow. If you mess up one thing, Bowser's stuff takes long enough that you have- you're kind of at a, uh... Working at a deficit at that point. 10 SP for a shell attack. Oh my gosh, that was like 400 damage overall, and then, oh, oh no, it did break them up. Oh, thanks, gang. Oh, because we broke them out, but I bet we could have blown up the bomb on them. Like the cruel, evil king we are. We would never do it to our boys, would we? Eh, maybe we would. Oh, we just bust this guy out, though. Interesting. I mean, I, I had forgotten about these guys. It's coming back to me, though. Okay, two punches. You can get you can get a lot of healing after. That's for sure. Oh yeah, we ranked up. I forgot when I was recording before. That that technically happened this episode, I'm pretty sure if I remember correctly. Whale shoot. It's so funny the the drastically different feelings of RPG stats. Cause like in um in metaphor we get you get plus one, maybe plus Plus one to A stat, or plus one to multiple, like to like two stats max in metaphor when you level up, and that's like a that's like a big deal. Like that's gonna have a great effect at the by the end of the game. It's 
Oh, this this way. Oh, is some that way? Okay, so a bomb. It's a weird one. So let's let's find out what happens. Oh, he's just dead instantly. But he's dead. I feel bad. Also, I toasted my poor Goomba. And we get one less healing item. Okay. Noted. Burning Fangs, is that just another... Uh... Fire Spider, double chances of flames burn effect. Oh. Wait, that's actually great. No, yeah, that's that's pretty good. Oh, we have an SP booster too. That's pretty nice. Shortcut? Okay. Shortcut of some sort. Whoops. Oh, we have um my friends are doing movie day tomorrow. And it all Halloween is over obviously, but we uh, had an extra little thing we do where we all we each pick a movie we consider to be a treat, a movie we consider to be a trick, obviously. Makes sense. Um, and we put them on a wheel so it's completely random. Nobody's picking anything. Wow, it's, that timing is a little tight. The game doesn't, you know, this game doesn't screw around it. It's, uh, it keeps you paying attention. Which I like. I like, I like, I like a Nintendo that, uh, respects you a little bit. <laughs> but but at, at times I also like a Nintendo that holds my hand and whispers sweet nothings in my ear. That can also be nice. VIP room, your silence is appreciated. Speaking left oh, sneaking leftovers we dealt with severely. Oh right, this is this is where we were taken to eat a bunch of food. Hmm. It's just food left. It's about snack time. Better better, better snow something. No wait! <laughs> it's it's the poison food. You'll chub out again. So? I'll just exercise again and chip it right down. Ah, fine. You're the boss. Knock yourself out. <laughs> yeah, food time, baby. Oh, that was that happened really quickly. <laughs> See, what did I say? Hello, Chub. <laughs> well, guys, looks like we can access that other area again, but there's no real need. I'm not positive he can get himself back to normal fast. I mean, this guy just plain likes eating. <laughs> so just with some crunches? That's crazy. <laughs> Is this just so we can do the mini game again? Sure, I'll go to the flab zone again. Uh, which one was this one? What's this? Bowser's freaking. <laughs> Bowser's freaking massive. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. The jumping. Oh, wait. Oh, no, this was actually in like an area area, wasn't it? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, so this just sort of like unlocks this area for us. I thought there was a mini game we had to do. Uh, yeah, he, when he was on the treadmill, didn't we do a mini game? Yeah, and then he like burst into flames. Okay, so this is, okay, this is just a, like, hey, if you wanted to, like, backtrack through an area again, 
than you could. Interesting. How goofy. Okay. Um, I mean, unless there's beans somewhere. I don't know where this is supposed to be. Because energy hold where we get this the drill is one. And then Toe Town was three. So there's one more somewhere. There's seven more in Toe Town. We got a lot of beans last time. It's it's gotta be said. We want to go this way. Okay, yeah, but the, the brothers, after uh, going and exploring the entirety of Mushroom Kingdom, the brothers actually managed to kind of, like, skyrocket ahead. We trade clock. Did we get into a fight? Clearly, that's the balcony. Flashy things. Um, collectible. Useless, but worth lots of coins. Cool. Bowser, why do you fashion it out of, like, your... <laughs> why do you want to be holding your own hands when you're sitting down being kingly and evil? statue. Talk about, talk about tacky. Smash time. Mm, wait. Right below here. Yeah, come on, Bowser. That's why we're up here. <laughs> why, why did you wander up here? Then I know why I, I know why I took you up here, but I mean, like, what did you think you were doing up here? No, the ground's that way. <laughs> that, what a, that was a great animation. Oh no! Oh, not good. Fawful statue. Midbus and Fawful aren't here, man. We're the only ones who can stop this. Dude, what? He's too strong. Get the gang in the castle. Hurry. God, he's just Goombas, though. Here goes. Bowser fighting against his own minions. The fall of a king. Whoa, whoa, hey gang, let's chill out. Open your eyes, minions. Oh, the leg one. I guess that makes sense. Oh. Yo, they didn't give me a chance at all. Literally, Mario and Luigi would not would not slam down fast enough. All right, hold on. I'll freaking show you guys. I mean, okay. To be fair, I messed up the first two, but then after that, I couldn't I couldn't even recover. By the time I got to the big jump, it was freaking over. Also, I don't know why we didn't start, like, putting in the... He just won't quit. Let's go, guys. He just won't quit. Well, no, this is, the, this is the only way forward, guys. I'm sorry. No, please. I am the one true king. Crud. I lost again. I just straight up lost again. Oh my god. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Bowser's inside story. Are you demanding perfection? Are you demanding that I I don't like miss an input? 
They start you so close to the edge, and the minions are pushing against you so hard. But we've seen Bowser do such crazy things. It's absurd to me that, like, some shy guys and paratroopers and goombas? You're having trouble pushing a statue against them? I'm surprised they're able to push the statue at all. Let alone with you pushing against it. Okay. Okay, there we go. Oh, I understand. The way it spins determines whether it's going to change or not. It was perfectly falafel shaped. Heck yeah. Nice. Now that time I didn't miss anything, to be fair. But I mean, we started so close to the edge that it was like we were kind of a little screwed. actually like way more level now. Come on Bowser, just a tiny jump. Okay, hold on. So... I'll try the first one. Emergency exit returns to the entrance, and that just, yeah. You need to be able to break this. Is there anything else to break open? Doesn't look like it. I'm just dumb. There we go. Okay. Showtime. What are we looking at here? He's got a cold. Okay, well now he's pissed. I don't know if that's good. Hmm. <laughs> 
them. <laughs> a weird freaking attack. Oh, without his thing, he's getting hurt because he's so sick. He's terminally ill. And only an ice pack was gonna help him. And <laughs> he's delirious. He just died of he just died of an illness. Bowser. I mean, without Bowser, his minions don't have any like health care or anything like that. They've got no, they've got no benefits. Ah, my buns. Hey, come here. Hey, come here. That's what I thought. Fifty coins. What are these conveyor belts? Oh, hold on. What? There we go. Ah. <laughs> okay, I think with the brothers. Oh, heck yeah. He's here! Bowser's here! Finally! What's up, gang? Free! Yes! At last! Bomb on join as min joined as minions, you can now use Bomb on Blitz. Yeah. We. Oh. <laughs> oh, he's just... Okay, I mean, so this one... I mean, there's not... I can't really imagine failing this one. Okay, well, I guess I did technically fail it. I guess I did technically do the thing that I said it would be so hard to do. I'm I'm bad, and I'm and I'm bad. <laughs> but, uh, but I mean, yeah, it's not it's not like a particularly difficult one. I wonder how much F SP this costs. I imagine it's probably pretty high damage. The hardest part is just sort of like lining them up. Just sort of like. It's pretty satisfying watching them all go off though. Alright. Well, chill, gang. Chill out, guys. Hey guys! Minions, calm down! Chill! Don't do it, Bowser. No, Bowser. <laughs> we didn't get to see how that one panned out. I mean, we can, we can guess how that one was gonna pound out. Uh, it's good to have another multi-hit one that's not just fire-based. Cool. Um... So come to illness? Oh, weird. Oh, then we get to hit him away. I wonder if we get to I mean when it walks up, does it put it does it put its shield down eventually? Dang, twelve. Is this like really powerful though? Uh I mean it was it was pretty strong. Uh, let's see. 
Uh, we get to choose. Yeah, I mean, this is like one of the few where it's all, but we get to choose. Like, you, you can stack them all in one enemy you want to hit. Um, if you're fighting a single target, this one's very good. Uh, and it dizzies people, which is interesting. Oh my gosh, wait, Dimble Woods is Fat Luigi? Oh my gosh. Look at him. The lunch basket's pretty, it's, it's pretty good. <laughs> It's pretty easy too. It's like it's like a high damage move that's like actually pretty easy to pull off. Dizzy's people, interesting. What would be interesting if, if the bomb bombs burned, but Dizzy is still very good. I don't think I actually don't think any of Bowser's other stuff Dizzy's people. So maybe that is actually very good. Oh no, okay, no, they just straight up hit you. For 59 damage too, we have a lot of defense. Well actually we're not wearing the highest defense thing we have, to be fair. That guy's gonna have bad time. I gotta see it. Ooh, it is hard to it is a little hard to aim though. Could have just blown up the bomb bomb. Oh crud! I bonked my head into it. Okay, so it's a it's kind of a give and take. I think his I think they slow down once. Thousand XP, jeez. I'm pretty sure they slow down one time and then they keep falling the second time. So maybe you want to stop them at the top. We'll stop them when they're higher up. And then give it a shot. Ow. Oh, I know what to do. <laughs> okay, no, I I do know what to do. I do know what to watch. Crud, no, I have a plan, I have a plan, I promise. Weird to do, like, a jumping puzzle as Bowser, though, that's, that's for sure. No! Oh, didn't need to do all that. It's a good thing this doesn't hurt us. I'm surprised it doesn't hurt us, though, actually, to be honest. This is an interesting way to use this one that, like, wouldn't necessarily come to you immediately. I mean, it's, it's like a free 52 damage every turn. Oh, he just missed. He got dizzy and then he missed and then he took like over 50 damage. Oh god. Those poor thwomps, they just exist. Their life is pain. Like, their life is just absolute pain. I wanna get... Can I get to 40 speed? In a way, I'm getting to 40 speed. It's just, you know... 
It's not it's not coming together all at once. What are these guys actually called? What are any of these guys actually called? Sniffle Swamp and Jail Goon. Jail Goon's pretty. That's pretty good. <laughs> I'm surprised that Mario and Luigi don't fight the little uh, headbag thing. Well, they freaking switch things up on me. Enemies have, I mean, enemies have a pretty interesting array of attacks and stuff, I will say. The double dizzy. Thank you. Having the SP every turn is very good. Glutton ring, which I'm pretty sure we already have. I knew they were gonna do the. Crud, I, mm, I goofed it. I goofed it hard. Do you see that bright red line going through the treadmill? Me thinks the upscaling on this end, on this totally real legitimate DS is uh, getting a little wonky. Ah, okay. <laughs> All right. Okay. Um. Oh, my man. My Brocky, he is making his angry face. Like, totally refresh me, my dude. Bodacious. Um, you don't have anything new, right? Nah, freaking Brock Monjo, you stank as heck. Um, I do have some teeth for you. Would you prefer I call them fangs? Because they're not, they're just my, they're just my teeth. <laughs> Collectible, useless, worth lots of coins. A thousand coins, yeah, that's pretty good. Uh, my friend, who also really loves these games, I mentioned her a couple times, um, she brought up a good point, which is that this game doesn't have a lot of... The one thing this game doesn't do is introduce a lot of, like, unique, uh, partic particularly interesting characters. I think, I think it's just the sort of... It's just so, it's just a sort of weakness of like, oh, it's another game taking place in the Mushroom Kingdom. However, I think the introduction of the block people, the fact that they did introduce a new kind of people with the block people is good. Fawful returning is great. Um, Toadbert becoming a real person in the story and being useful for once. That's a, that's a nice change of pace. Uh, I like the, I like that the Dr. Toad is a, like, seer? <laughs> a, like, clairvoyant? I... I don't know what that's all about. It's just like a weird ex it's just a weird quality that he has, but I like it, you know, and he's kind of funny. He's had some funny scenes. They throw like interesting little characters at you, like the the, the like the Koopa with the memory like the, like with like severe memory loss at the beach and like the weird ghost man. I don't know what the ghost who's like studying booze. He I don't even know I don't know why they made that tower other than so you could fight it and do boost and do like weird x-ray stuff i don't know why they created a whole guy with a whole backstory just for him to explain his machine to you and then disappear forever um the game just kind of throws people at you a lot i think the strongest unique new characters it has are definitely starlow starlow is a great 
it is a is a, is a good it's a really good example of a partner character done well, especially a partner character that's being introduced three games in. They have her act like somebody who is new to this whole deal, and is like lear she's learning. She's t it frames everything as she's learning more than the brothers are. The brothers are like, oh yeah, we've done this kind of stuff before, and she's like, oh, I'm sorry, what are you doing? Oh, you're doing this like this. Oh, that's interesting. It feels more like she's working with us than, you know, telling us what to do, which is nice. I like how she plays off of Bowser. I like how I like I like how she acts as Bowser's partner character as well, but they have a very different relationship. Um, so she's probably the strongest, and then Brock Manjur and Bragi are probably like the second strongest. But I, I think Brock Manjur, like, just aesthetically too, and, and like functionally, functionally is just like really good though, um, for sure. Preservation Chamber access restricted to members of the Bowser Secret Society. Bowser Secret Society. When? Where? Who? Um, I think I'm just gonna do one of these. This is actually probably the Given the area, this was probably the best, the best one. I need to line them up in a line. I keep lining, trying to put them in a stack. Oh, I pressed, I pressed Y. You kind of gotta like mat. You gonna kind of gotta like mash inputs ahead of time to set them up. I've noticed. What do you like when you have the bag on your head? No, you're still sick as heck. You're still having a terrible time. Oh, you, you still take damage every turn too. It's just a, it's just a sickly, it's just a sickly thwomp. That's like the whole, that's the whole character. <laughs> How weird. Oh, that's where we need to be going, which means this is actually optional. Preservation Chamber access restricted, uh, restricted to members of the Bowser Secret Society. The very latest door security allows entry only when buttons are pushed in a specific order. Before pushing the door button, members will push other buttons the specified number of times. Only society members will be notified of the correct of the correct order and number of button presses. A note to all society members: If you think you'll forget the code, leave no notes around. Oh, Bowser can't do it because he's too big, and he can't even do a little bunny hop or climb up a ledge. He's too large. He weighs like ten tons. Derogatory insult. <laughs> huh. Who are these guys with like cannons and like riot shields? So I guess you really just eat the bag in order to, uh... Have them take more passive damage. A lot more passive damage, mind you, but... the Koopa one. See how that fares. It's only it's only two less. Oh 
Ah, crud. And you only take a max, you can only get a max of 30. So you could, oh, crud. Oh. <laughs> Just, when they die on their own, it's like very depressing to watch. <laughs> your, your existence is pain. You're literally just here to suffer. One damage to the uh, jail goon. And the thwomps are. Notice that the, the sniffle thwomps are like very easy to daze too, which is just even more depressing. They really have nothing going for them. Latest Kingdom fad it sees off at Bowser Castle debut. Jump as high as you can and slam down on the seesaw. Ride it, and when the seesaw peaks, jump and slam it again. Slam your, wo you slam your past regrets, slam your worst memories, slam and slam some more. Both stress and unwanted fat will slam away. Interesting. Oh. I understand. Actually. No, 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 no. No. Nothing for me. Supposed to keep hitting it at the peak, right? Yeah, what? It moves down immediately. I, how do I do it? The need to hit it back the other way, right? Okay, so you just kind of mash it out a little bit. Okay, but the other way is optional. Oh! Treasure chamber, not easy to get in here, no. The door's locked up tight. Unless you're a genius like me, you'll never figure it out. Ga ha 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 ha. Okay, well, Bowser, you surely you know the code to your own treasure room, right? Know how to get into it. Let's do a treasure room. Bowser, were you were your thwomps this sick before you got overthrown? Cause if they weren't, man, you know, this is uh, this is a bad look. I 
get to punch you anyways. Okay, I think I will... I'll do this one. Well, I, I killed them exactly. Cool. Yeah, the, the flames, Bowser's flame attack is so situational. They do still present us with opportunities where it's like, it's still good, like with the bomb bombs. It's like an instant win, right? But uh, overall, like, it's very far and few in between, I've noticed. We almost have 200 POW on Bowser. Which I think is very cool. Well, we do have 200 POW on Bowser when we uh, have the Rampage Shell on. Twenty-one encounter hits for that now, jeez. Yeah, this one has a very specific rhythm to it that repeats every time, just the way that the shells come out. Is this one... Does that one last forever? That one does a lot of damage. I feel like it almost does more damage than the bomb bombs. Which, actually, that does make sense, because that one takes a little bit more skill. The bomb bombs, you just... You get to choose where the damage goes, right? So, like... Oh, here we go. We've got a shortcut here. <laughs> From, uh... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Does Bowser's inside story is Dark Souls? Did they did, did Nintendo learn everything they ever did from 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 software? Will I take a sip of this sprite? Ugh. Oh, it's spicy. Oh, it makes my eyes water. <laughs> It's too strong for me, gang. This is what this is how I get my my sick kicks. Other people turn to to booze. Some people turn to to weed. I drink soda at like midnight. It makes me feel alive. I don't feel like the lucky band's been really doing me much. 20% I mean, power boost is just kind of really good. I mean, so is 20% defense boost. Jeez. 20% 20, 20 SP boost? Still not really pulling in the numbers we want to see. Fire spread is pretty cool. That one never worked. The SP shrink of a random attack, but it still it is still is very nice. Um, we'll do the punch for now. It's a pretty sizable area, all things considered.
Oh, it changed it. Oh, maybe it changes it every time. You gotta do it in one go. But I immediately forgot what it was. Oh. Oh, wait, that, that one's incredibly easy. Watch this. It literally means slide punch for these three. First, you think it looks a little weird, but then it just means normal punch for these three. It's hard because you can't actually see like the size of the screen. Ah, the room where I keep my sweetest stolen treasures. This is the one place that stupid Fawful never could break into. I feel like that's not true, Bowser. No, what? Built a, he built a train right through it? Bowser, no. Bowser, no, wait. How, who, why? Your silliness. I found Sergeant Guy and Corporal Paraplonk. King Bowser, awesome seeing you again, sir. Our sweep of the castle indicates it is intact, sir. Intact. Look at this train track. Whoa. Who put a train track down here? Next stop, Bowser Castle. Good heavens, Bowser. You gotta, like... <laughs> you gotta, like have a little bit of self-preservation. That was a train, dude. You just, you didn't even flinch. Now arriving at the always rundown, falling apart, dirty, nasty, thanks to Bowser Castle. Hey, it's you idiots. Explain all this now. Yeah, well, bro. As you can see, the secret tunnel project you ordered is finally finished, broski. Yeah, remember Bro Town? You helped us drill this tunnel. Oh, yeah. Oh, right. Ah, I, I mean, I did, but... I don't remember telling you to build a railway directly into my secret treasure chamber. Bro, this secret tunnel got bought out by Fawful Foundation. <laughs> by the Fawful Foundation. <laughs> oh, no. Fawful did... Fawful's destroying... Bow, Fawful's overthrowing Bowser legally now. <laughs> The legality of it, Bowser. There's nothing we can do. There's too much red cre there's too much red tape to cut. <laughs> it was a buyout, Bodington. Get me? A buyout. Thanks to the sweet cash infusion, we outsourced the whole drilling to some other bros. So now we're elite employees of Lord Fawful. The salary's great, Brody. Insane benefits. <laughs> yeah, you see, Fawful hired us, and so and then what we do is we go and we hire other people. And you see it all kind of like, <laughs> it all kind of just like g goes back up to us, right? So we had to pay, we actually have to pay Fawful to get in. But then we hire other people and then we get benefits from them. And then they hire other people. And then, you know, Fawful's at the top, he, almost like the top of a, of a pyramid. And then, you know. No, actually, this sounds like an actual job. Like, salary is great, Brody. Insane benefits. Crud, this is what I was talking about. And... <laughs> Maybe Bowser doesn't give his minions any benefits. That's why the Thwomps are so sick. Or, or how how or the question is how good can the benefits be if the Thwomps are that sick? They're literally dying. They're just dying like they're dying without me doing anything to them. Trust me, this Fawful Express that Lord Fawful built is super awesome. Want to ride, Brochon? Although I'm mean, come to think of it, bro, it's a pretty pricey ticket. Maybe too posh for you. Even if you sold this cruddy old castle, you still can't afford it. Treason! Like, actually, it's seriously treason, yeah. King Bowser, sir. You'd better not make enemies of those guys. Yeah, for real. Besides, uh, didn't you come here looking for a Star Cure? Oh, yeah, the Star Cure mu must be in this room. The Star Cure must be. It must be secured and not safe, sir. Safe where? That? All aboard, Fawful Express. Oh, Bowser. We were so close. 
Also, those guys just straight up ran us over. So it's another giant battle. That's the second time a Bowser area has ended with a giant battle and not a normal battle. I don't mind the giant battles, but I really like fight I really I've really liked Bowser's boss fights so far, like his normal boss fights so far. They've been really good. So I'm a, you know, I'm a bit it's a bit of a shame, but the I mean the giant boss fights are fun. Don't get me wrong, but the but the giant boss fights are the, the gimmicks, you know what I mean? Like, a lot of the stuff that you have and a lot of the stuff that you do is kind of thrown out the window for the spectacle of it. Man, Bowser got... Bowser got ran over by a train. Okay, actually, I have a question. Why on earth does this train... Rail this is a terrible railroad, guys. It literally just leads to a boulder? And then you smash into it? Either they were just trying to kill him. Which is messed up. Alright, time to make sure Bowser doesn't friggin' die again. <laughs> Boy, what I already saved. Let's go make sure Bowser can go fight a freaking train. Nice. Bro, was Bowser a pushover or what? Totally, Lord Favel is gonna be loving us. Oh man, these guys aren't even like brainwashed. They just straight up. This is just, this this is capitalism. <laughs> I mean, you compare Bowser to the Favel Express, and it's like Broski, dude is puny. Oh. <laughs> Dude, wow, that, that transition kind of went really hard. <laughs> I think that might be the coolest one yet. The train's actually incredibly small. Lord, forgive me, I must return to my old ways once more. These moles about to get it. Yeah, no, actually, they kept the train pretty, like, accurate, size-wise. Um, oh, hold on, that's not it. Uh, I need to... Screen rotation, there we go. Nope. <laughs> I did that last time, too. There we go. Danger bros, what do we do? It's all good, bro. Just check it out. You can't run. I will find you. Bodingtons, look. Over there, a rickety bridge. That thing will collapse under this guy's bulk. Then it'll fall all the way down into the valley. This big dude's going down. Nice, big bro. Total genius. 
Let's go straight for that bridge station. If we can pass that station, we win, bro. You can try. This is the bridge station, 100 kilomoles. He's coming, move! We stopped everything okay? We're not broskies. That guy's punch is no problem. Unless he spits fire, we'll take zero damage. Nice, big bro. I can already hear the dude crying. Oh, well, I'm glad you let me know. I had kind of assumed as much. I, I had I had a feeling fire was sort of the way to, way to go. Not a lot of damage. I don't remember learning how to defend against this one. Easy enough, I suppose. See, like, I don't know if... Bowser's equipables actually affect, like, does equipping the fire boost actually affect this? Don't need it. Also, why are they sending giant mushrooms out at me? Now, I know Dream Team has fights like this, so I'm curious how that's going to go exactly. Oh. Ow. <clears throat> Should have double mashed. Oh. Better make repairs while he's occupied. Oh, screw you. I cannot punch you. Does punching you do good things? Oh, it slides you back here. Nice. Freaking hits him against the against the other mountain. That's pretty. That's pretty sick. They, they use fire, mm. or rather they they use water, so maybe fire is particularly good against this? Oh, it is. Oh, and the train's inside. Oh, does that hurt them too? Oh, crud, I should have done that. I should have capitalized off of that. Crud. Actually, us being back here is not a bad thing, because now they're on fire. For longer and they're further away. Okay, I'm gonna double tap this time. Cut, is it even? Is it Possible to get through it before one one hits you? I feel like it was.
Oh, I got lucky. I was I was not paying attention <laughs> to the timing on that one. We need like two more of those, and we need to be able to hit them with something else. There we go. Right at the very end, jeez. <laughs> Why'd they even go back inside? Oh. Man, screw those moles. After everything I did for them. It went a level up. I don't think we've seen this screen before. Or this kind of level up screen before. At this angle. Oh, we actually used the, t we actually used the stylus for this? Uh, I wanted to try and get some more SP. And boom. Nice. That's fun. Bowser, honestly, it's impressive that you can even take that ball. Oh, you got trained. Bowser wins again. So... What was I doing? I tried the star cure. I'm gonna go check that safe back at the castle. King Bowser, you're okay. Of course. The star cure is in, is in the safe, I'm so sure. Yeah, I remember. I didn't know what the thing was, but it looked pricey. So so I stuck it in the safe. Begin begin safe in, in cursion. In cursion? In cursion? In cursion, sir. Hmm. King Bowser? Something wrong? Uh, Bowser? I forgot it. Sir? The safe combination. I forgot it! What? Come on, you stupid brain! Stop being stupid and remember the stupid combination! Your forgetfulness! Get a hold of yourself! No. Ooh. No use, I can't remember. And also, beating yourself in the head is not a good way to do it. Hey, Chippy! Come in, Chippy! No need to shout, I hear you. I forgot the safe combo, huh? Yeah, I did, but you can find it. Look look around inside my head, it's in there somewhere. Find it. Bowser, that is truly just not how not how that works. Don't get me wrong, I understand. It that that is how it's going to work for this, but that's not how that works. Your tone. I don't like it. What? That haughty commanding tone of voice, I don't like it. Go help yourself. What the? Hey, find it! Find it. Please. Find it. Pretty please. <laughs> See, this... Starlo... is good. Starlo is good in every single way that stuff well can freaking stuff it. <laughs> freaking screw that guy. <laughs> um, I like how, from the perspective of Bowser's minions here, that, like, I don't know, Bowser is, has lost his mind. He's talking to himself, he's, he's groveling at nobody. That's better. Okay, the inside of your head is fragile, so stay totally still. I'll go look. Be right back. Okay, this is it. Nobody will get the Star Cure without the safe combination, so we'd better help Bowser. Let's head for Bowser's head. And so... 
we go. But we'll go and do that next time, because that is a whole other thing that we would have to do. Now, we're actually probably already kind of over-leveled, if, if nothing else, for that. All things considered, you don't have anything, right? Because you're kind of a chump, right? Yeah, you're, you're kind of a chump. It's okay, Toad. I still love you. Uh, so yeah. Next time, we're heading to the memory ranks for Bowser. Uh... For now, if you enjoyed this or anything else on this channel so far, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, hit the bell to get notified of more things in the future. Episodes of this, just about every single day, links in the description of things that I am doing, happy doing, or will be doing in the future. Also, me and my friend are making a game, any and all support towards that would be much appreciated. You can support us by supporting anything on this channel, supporting the devlog streams, and most of all, supporting the Patreon. With that, till next time, don't forget to be kind, don't be afraid to change your mind. In fact, have a couple of plumbers run around in your mind and forcibly change it for you if you're having trouble. <laughs> That's what I do. Um, super funny, just today, uh, Chugga Conway announced his 50th Let's Play and it happened to be uh, Bowser's Inside Story. I say happened to be, obviously it makes sense timing-wise, right? Uh, I am surprised that he is starting that one when right now and didn't start it earlier when um uh um when brothership is li literally comes out in four days but th then again i'm going to be starting dream team uh well after brothership comes out and i won't be playing brothership so you know hmm. <laughs> Ooh, the pain uh but we do what we have to do so that I suppose, I suppose he never did play things, like, new things that came out. He, he always played things that, like, had a lot of documentation on them, um, that had been out for a while. Because he always, he always does things 100%, so that actually makes sense, I guess. All things considered. Um, he, he actually has, like, actual, like, walkthroughs. Um, I'm just sort of playing games here, right? He actually has like actual walkthroughs where like he walks you through how to do certain things, how to get certain things, how to get all the things, really, how to do all the stuff, how to strat like strategies and things like that. So it was always nice. I, I used to watch this stuff all the time. Uh, but uh, yeah, I just thought that was funny, and that, it's funny to watch somebody start the same playthrough that you started. Uh, and, and that person is someone that you used to watch, and now you're doing the same thing, essentially. It's like, that's very... It's very, um... Weird. It's it's cyclical. It's... It's it's not everything coming back around into, into itself. But, uh... I do enjoy it. I will say, I wouldn't keep doing it if I didn't enjoy it. So... There's at least that. <laughs>